and welcome back to Shree FC. Please do hit the like and subscribe. It really supports the channel and the support really means a lot. And my first priority will always be to know you all are well and you're good. And hopefully you all are having a great day. You know, I've started this series and I'm loving this series. I'm a Chelsea fan myself and I love to go in the past and recover some great moment. And along with Chelsea on this day, I'm also going to cover Chelsea's transfers on this day. Some amazing transfer guys, some great stories. And on this day, 9th August 2018, we signed Kepa Erizabalaga for a world record fee, guys. How are you feeling about it, guys? For me, guys, at that time, I was stunned. I was gobsmacked and I thought, wow, man, this is going to be one of the best goalkeeper because we paid that price. The Sally is not turned off to me, but I still love Kepa. But let's get a bit of background. Everybody knows at that time, Chelsea were really after Alisson. We really wanted Alisson, but sometimes not having Champions League football can play a massive part and... He chose Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool's project over Chelsea, which is fair enough. Marina Ganabuskia, ma'am, I respect uh, her a lot. She did a great job at Chelsea. But one thing she did really wrong was expected Koto will stay at Chelsea. Koto is a human himself and he, want, he wanted to go for Real Madrid for like two years and we still thought, ah, Koto is going to stay, he's going to be loyal and he gone evolve, which is not wrong. He, he's, he'll try to do anything for his career. And then we were stuck. We had no one to sign. I remember Chelsea are after Jack Button and I thought, Oh my god, we are done this season. And then we went and signed Kepa Rizabalaga. And as much as Kepa gets a lot of stick at Chelsea, a lot of criticism for rival fans, his first season was a really, really good one. Yes, he has some errors, but I believe his first season performances were really good. I will never forget the save he made against Leicester City. We will lost the game, but the long shot save was fantastic. I'll not forget he considered against Janel Sturridge from long and then he made a save against Nathan Redmond when we beat Southampton at St. Mary Stadium 3-0. His Europa League run was fantastic. Please, people, as much as you like Kepa or not, we will never have won the Europa League without him. That match against Frankfurt, we were battered at Stamford Bridge, if people remember. David Luiz, Zappa Costa making the blocks on the goal line. Kepa Erizabalaga saving us from the penalties. I think as much as see Eden Hazard and Giroud were the biggest part of Europa League, never get that wrong. But Kepa also played a massive part of winning the Europa League. And you might like Kepa, you might not like Kepa, but at least in memories, you can see that Kepa is the one who won us the Europa League. And Kepa is the one who helped us to play in the final in the back row against Arsenal and beat them 4-1 in a memorable victory. So guys, at least have some respect for Kepa. And he, his time at Chelsea was not one of the most horrific. His last season was also not one of the worst. His season in the Frank was really poor. And Edward Mendy came in and was just one of the best goalkeepers in that time. Just say 7-8 months, Edward Mendy was world class. But sadly, after that, Edward Mendy fell off. Last season, again, I say under, uh, you can say somewhat Thomas Tuchel and then Graham Potter, Kepa Erizabalaga revived again. He had a really good season. But sadly, as I've always said on this channel, Kepa is just an above average goalkeeper who is good enough for a top six club, but not enough for a club that competes for a trophy and wants to finish top four. Last season, he had an amazing season, but even that was not at the standard you want. He had a very good performance against many uh, Aston Villa, which I can remember was a fantastic performance. Brentford, but he also made a mistake against Fulham for the Vinicius goal. He made a mistake against Manchester City. We will lost the game nil one. It never looked like City will score in the game, but Kepa made a mistake. So that was a season where Kepa has he had a fantastic season, and even then he has some errors, which is sadly part of his game. Some of his work against long shots, some of his shot stopping with his hand is disappointing from low shots. And his sweeping is much better than Mendy, but it is not at the level of top goalkeepers. So again, I'm not saying that Kepa Rezabalaga was a fantastic deal, but it wasn't the worst disaster in the world. But sadly, with 70 million, it will always be regarded as one of the biggest disasters. For me, it wasn't one of the biggest disasters. I still consider we got 35 million for Kotoa. And I believe Chelsea only put extra 37. From that regards, I don't think it's been as disastrous from the accounting books. But overall, putting him on 170, 180k wages for such a young guy... And then a player signed for 72 million when Allison was 70, Edison was around 30 35. Sadly, it will go as one of the biggest disasters. For me, it still won't be at the level of Maguire. It still won't be at some big transfers level, Nicolas Pepe's. It won't be in that level as much as rivals will say, but it was a disastrous transfer. And until we take the co to our money in the account Chelsea got, it was a disaster. But still, there are some good memories I have of Kepa, and I still wish him the best. And hopefully, this season, Kepa plays so well that we say to the rivals, He's 70 million worth. But right now, I have to say I have a lot of respect for Kepa, but he's an above average goalkeeper. And I believe even if he has a great season, I want Chelsea to move for Magnin. 
but still i will have a lot of love and uh, love for keppa and still respect him because the guy is professional and a really good leader in the dressing room one thing i will surely say is that one thing he will always remember is a sari fiasco where he re- uh, refused to come out of the pitch caballero was crying and i think we would have won the penalty shootout with caballero that is something which was misbehavior by keppa but in the end it's been uh, keppa himself told that the manager took my thing wrongly i wanted to waste time because my team was under pressure by manchester city but the manager did not understand me but whatever that was a disappointing part from keppa but other than that there are still some things you can look on and say thank you keppa but other than that it's been a sally a very disappointing signing for a 70 million but best of luck to him and hopefully smashes it this season and hopefully you guys hit the like button and subscribe and thanks for the support and wish you all the great day thank you and hopefully you all have a great time subscribe and like thank you